I am LaMarcia Lewis. Let's talk. Disclaimer. Fair use. The I am LaMarcia Lewis. Let's talk. YouTube channel is a news reporting site covered under copyright disclaimer under section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use. For purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research without the need for permission from or payment to the copyright holder. And that is, I am the Marsha Lewis Let's Talk YouTube channel, Fair Use Disclaimer. So, let's talk. Sunday, October the 17th, 2021. We will have a conversation about something I recently found out. Um, I was watching some clips of The Real. They did an interview with the bailiff. Um, I'm sure, you like, like myself, many of you are very familiar with the bailiff that was worked for Judge Judy, uh, who did uh, her TV show, Judge Judy, when people would come into her courtroom with various types of cases and she would listen and give her a verdict and all that and also in my opinion I can't say that I was just a diehard fan because again in my opinion she would have a life with a smart mouth snarky attitude and upon listening to the interview that he did Bird did with the ladies of the real she would be starting a new TV show in which he will not be a part of and we will listen to the trailer because that's how um, it kind of came uh, I guess a subject matter um, people were discussing because it says after fans saw the new trailer and then TV the new show would be called Judy Justice so uh, after seeing the trailer and whom she would have working with her on this new TV show that she is about to embark on it was stated that fans couldn't help but see that the previous bailiff that had been with her again for 25 years the entire run of judge judy is not a part of this new upcoming show that she would be having so let's listen to the trailer and then we go back to our conversation you talk i finish that's the rule Judy Justice is a really exciting new adventure that gives me an opportunity to come into streaming while producing a whole different kind of court show. Try to begin with the truth. That's always the easiest thing to begin with. I've been sort of alone for the last 25 years. Now I have a new team. My law clerk happens to be my granddaughter. A law clerk does whatever the judge asks them to do. Sarah is wired like I am. She's a little snarky. I like that. <laughs> and then there's Whitney. She's a fabulous snark. I'm able to read back the record for her, and she can utilize that to go back and verify things. And my bailiff, Kevin, is one of the warmest people. My role is to pass information back and forth from the plaintiff and the defendant to the judge and keep order in the court. Keep well, in mind. Just uh, a, no, I don't have to keep anything in mind. Well, You're just to keep in mind answering my question. Have them help me create this new show is really giving me a third act or a fourth act. That's either a yes or a no. We are upping the game. I don't care what you believe. I am who I am. Sometimes PC, sometimes not. Don't speak, but consistent. She has a gift to get the truth out of you real fast. You want me to believe that? You want this face to believe that? Rules are important. I am going to appear to tell that to the next generation. Two of you have parents. Yes. Do you think they watch me? Or they watch you. Of course they do. So you don't want to embarrass yourself, right? <laughs> I really felt a good energy with all of us. This show is the judge on steroids. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Uh-uh is not an answer. Judy is justice. There is always an opportunity for a new adventure. And it says screaming weekdays beginning November the 1st. And you listen to what we just listened to together. And she said for 25 years she's been alone. That was kind of like a slap in the face to Burb. Because how can she sit there and say she's been alone when she had Bird that has been her bailiff for 
25 years. But again, that just kind of tells a story, kind of tells you who this woman is. And I'm just not, like I said, I've never necessarily been a fan of hers because she had a smart mouth, uh, can be very snorky in, in, in using her words. She uh, stated that her law clerk is her granddaughter. Her name, and as I was looking at her, Sarah, and she said Sarah's a lot like her. She can, she can be snarky. She liked that. And again, this is in my opinion, just kind of telling us more and more of whom and what Judge Judy is as a person. Although we see that, how she acts and re, uh, her behavior on her TV show, uh, for what we've previously seen for the past 25 years, that of Judge Judy. Uh, she has a lady named Whitney that's going to be her stenographer. That's the person that sits in the courtroom and does all the typing from what everyone is saying. And she introduced the new gentleman, Kevin. His, the new bailiff's name is Kevin Roscoe. Uh, upon my research, I heard that he had did per, he had provided personal security for her during her run for Judge Judy. And I guess she just decided she was going to bring him on instead of keeping Bird on. And this is what, has, according to Bird, from the interview he did with uh, the ladies of The Real, he said it was like, hey, goodbye. Hey, good luck, goodbye. That's basically what how Judge Judy uh, said on their last day of Judge Judy. He said the next day his wife was having a surgery, uh, a brain surgery, which is a very, very critical surgery. So he, his focus, he said, at that point in time was on his wife would make perfect sense. That's where my focus would have been to on my, my, my spouse if something like that was happening to me. And if I had a spouse, I'm not married. But I get what he was saying. He had his priorities in the right place. He wasn't thinking about a show ending or the fact that he had not uh, been given anything as if he would be with a new project. So obviously, I take it that he was aware. Although Judge Judy was ending, she was having a new project coming on. And the name of the new project is Judy Justice. He said later on, I think around maybe in July, something to that effect, his, it was his wife. He had said, well, hey, have you heard from the people for the new show for Judge Judy? And he's like, no, I haven't heard. And so his wife said, well, you need to, you know, have a conversation, talk with us. So he said he sent a text, asked could they have a talk. Said so she immediately uh, responded, said that wasn't nothing new. She would, if he were to, I guess, send a text, she would always immediately respond. And they, uh, if he were to call, they, you know, always have immediate response and he said that she uh asked how his wife was doing and then they basically went into what the purpose of him wanting to have a phone conversation with her and he said he mentioned well hey am i gonna be part of the new project uh and say so she just uh was frank and blunt the way that we know um her to be he said she said he sold he sold himself too short Although he never asked. He said that she told him, you sold yourself too short. And he was like, in his response to the ladies of the real, and I also saw what he did uh, um, on the, uh, in further research where he stated, how can I have sold myself too short where I never was offered, never had a discussion about the new coming project? That, again... That tells me a lot. And then after listening to the clip of the trailer, when she said she's been alone 25 years, wow. That was a lot. Did she really think she'd done this alone for 25 years? And just like this new project is coming up, and she's already giving praise to her team, her daughter, her, her granddaughter, uh, Sarah Whitney, who's going to be the lady that's, again, her uh, Stephan Steph Greifer, Grapher, who's going to be doing the typing of everything, keeping up with everything that's being stated by the, everyone in the courtroom. Then she has a new bell of Kevin. So how could she say, for 25 years, I've been alone? That was a slap in the face to that of the of bird who has stood with her, been there the entire run. But people, as, as the late Maya Angelou has stated once, when someone sh uh, show you who they are, believe them believe them the first time this lady judge judy she she showed who she is she showed how she obviously didn't give a care about bird even though 
he served with her 25 years. She said, I've been along for 25 years. And then when he I did have a conversation with her. He said, she said, uh, you sold yourself too short. And knowing that no one had reached out, knowing she didn't reach out. And this is her show. This woman has the utmost of people who some respect her and many like her. I'm not, I can't say I am one because I am not. But again, a person of her caliber. You've already did 25 years on TV with a TV court show. You're about to start a new project and to say he sold himself out. But you didn't, obviously you didn't want him. You did ask him. You didn't tell your people, hey, let's have a conversation because I want to bring Bird on. No, you obviously said, I want to bring Kevin Rasko on, which is her, her right to do. It's her show, her prerogative. I mean, hey, she has that right to do and bring and have whomever she wants. But this is my philosophy in life. It's always the principle, the principle of the matter. For her to make that statement, I've been by myself for 25 years, a slap in the face. To not have a conversation with her, even if she had made the choice, she didn't want to bring him on. As he stated, at least had the decency, the common decency to have a, to let him know. Basically, not, don't blindside me or have me, basically, but we should never assume. I learned in high school that assume can make and if you, I'm sure you know what assuming can do. The Bible tells us in all thy getting, get understanding. That is why when his wife brought it to his attention, asked him, had he heard anything, had, had her people reached out? He replied, no. His wife said, well, you need to have a conversation. You need to reach out to Judge Judy. He did that. They had the conversation. And after them having the conversation, he learned that she just didn't want him. He said they had never went to lunch together. They had never had dinner. Said they basically had a friendly, cordial relationship. The ladies of the real, uh, was like myself, was really kind of surprised to hear him say that basically it was no more than that. Kind of, and that goes to show anything can look like this and that, but that doesn't make it be this and that. We all thought they probably had a actual bond French because I heard uh as he was saying that Adrian made this made the statement we've only been together for eight years and we all have a bond 25 years and then she she had the best to say she's been alone it's again it goes to the principal it's her show she has the right to have whomever she wants but at the end of the day if you are a, are a person of integrity, just have a little little bit of human kindness, human empathy of doing what is right, she would have said, I'm starting a new show. I do wish you the best. I've made the decision. Or the people at the show, uh, the new people have made the decision. But I believe the decision was hers. She's got her granddaughter as her law card. Uh, again, it stated that the new gentleman that Kevin Rasko, that's going to be the new bill or is the new bill has done provided personal security. So she knows him, had a relationship. I don't know how long this has been, but 25 years. I don't know if she's known Kevin longer or if she's known Bert longer. Bert actually said it's actually been 35 years and known, which means that was a 10 year time that we've known each other before the 25 years that we worked together. So she has the right to have whoever she decides. But again, just if you're going to be a woman and you're a judge, like I say, and you are, have such a high caliber and some people, many people do respect you, but I don't like the smart mouth and the snorkiness that she has. But it, again, the right thing would have been to simply say, I made the decision. I'm starting a new show. You will not be a part of this project. Instead of him having basically to come and ask you on, on his own, but at least after the conversation took place, she did say no, but it's the way she came at it. You priced yourself too, too short. Again, being that snarky person that she is. I wish Bird the best. He did say he had some uh, new uh, things, some new projects coming up, but we all know. 
when God is in control, that's all that matters. I, I so judge we. I don't know how this new show Judy Justice would be. I have no plans to watch because again, she's not one of my favorite people because of her smart mouth and snark snarkiness, and then just how she finding out this. Nah, I'm a pay. I'll take a pass. I do wish Bird the best. And this is our commentary for this Sunday, October the 17th, 2021. I hope you have enjoyed this conversation. I hope you will share this particular uh, video, this particular commentary. And if you are enjoying these, I hope that you will subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm LaMarcia Lewis. Let's talk.